Hey guys, I'm Renes. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time I'm uploading a video and today's video is going to be about new makeup that I have recently bought. Okay. So most of them are from Maybelline and Opu. I'm not sure whether you heard of it. It is Opu is a Korea brand. The product is just awesome. Affordable pricing and also good in quality. I will follow the steps in makeup and come up with this look. So hope you enjoy. Keep watching. So first of all, I'm going to use my beauty blender and I'm trying out this Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation, normal to oily. And then my color is the lightest one, which is 115 Evolve So, going to dip a little on the sponge and then put some on my face. It is blendable, I can say. Very, very blendable. Okay, this is the first thin layer. As you can see, it cannot cover my dark eye circle. Okay. The texture is smooth and doesn't kick it at all. Let me apply the second layer. Okay, I move it closer. As you can see, most like concealing about 40% of it not even 50 okay. okay before concealing my dark eye circle and some dark area I'm going to draw my eyebrow with this fashion bro by Maybelline I own a dark brown color of their eyebrow palette and then this is my second palette and this is a this is a dark grey kind of colour so I'm going to try it out whether it suits me I've been loving their brow palette so much it, because it gives me a long lasting eyebrow it stay all day first of all I'm going to dab into this wax kind of thing on the palette and then start to fill in my brow On the another end of the brush is this like angle brush angle brush and then I don't like to use the, uh, the brush they provided it is too short for me to control so I would like to use my long handle angle brush and tap on that on some powder oh, it's too grey for me I think and then start to fill in the brow oh my gosh Either too dark for me oh, no when it comes to growing an eyebrow I wish to soften this area because uh, it will look like Sin Chan if you make it harsh okay I brush it with my finger to make it matte This color is a little bit too dark for me. Okay, so maybe it is only suitable for darker hair colors. Okay, I'm done with my brow. And I'm going to go in with this Fit Me Concealer. I've heard a lot of good review using this Fit Me Concealer. So let's try it out. To test the function, so I'm going to like conceal one side first. Woo! It's pretty natural. Okay, forgot to show that my color. This is number 10 in light. Okay. 
Ooh. Can you see the difference? So this is the difference. It's lighter than this side. So I'm going to conceal this side and see how. Okay. Mm, for concealer, I expect that it could conceal 100% of my dark eye circle, but then it couldn't. So I'm going to apply more and see how. Remember to just tap using the beauty blender or your finger instead of brush it and blend it because that is the way a concealer stays. Okay, I would say that it conceals naturally. Okay, from far it is fine. But when you look up close, it doesn't conceal 100% of it. But still looking good because it's not tacky. Okay, moving on is about the eyeshadow. So I'm going to use this palette. A few months ago, I saw my favorite YouTuber introduce this. And I was wanting to own it so much. I couldn't find it in Malaysia because it is not available. But then a few weeks ago, I found that NYX is bringing it to their offline store in Malaysia, so I get it. And it is av only available at their offline store. Look at the color, the color is so peachy white. Okay, first of all, I'm going to use this uh, beige color as this. This color is not pigmented at all. I'm going to use this row like a peachy orange kind of color so I'm going to use this this as my crease color wow kind of pigmented so be careful when you blend it I'm going to use this color I found the brush. I found the brush couldn't pick up much of their pigment. I'm going to tap more on my lid. Whoa! Okay, to emphasize my crease, I'm going to use this. For the inner corner highlight, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this gold color. To complete my look, I will add some color on my water lash line. So I'm going in with this. Okay, I would like to review a little bit. The powder is soft, but the pigmentation is not that strong. Because it is a drugstore brand, so I cannot expect more. I will play more often with it. Right, moving on, I'm going to finish my eye with some eyeliner. And these two babies are from Maybelline. They are both hyper sharp liner. The red one is power black and the yellow one I think is a normal black. So let's see how. I will use this power black on my right eye. It is smooth, smooth and black. Well, I like it. So on the left side, I will use this yellow.
again it is smooth I think I got an imbalanced eyeliner it is too high my gosh okay so I correct my eyeliner it is all fine and then these for right eye and these for left eye can you say the difference no there is no difference I think maybe it's from the same series which is hyper sharp series and they are both brush tips which is my most weird kind of tip for liquid eyeliner and yeah I would recommend this okay so moving on to my lashes I'm going to curl up first this is also my new purchase it is from Maybelline also this is the Fossey Push Up Angel Mascara. It has a unique head. Can you see it? Unlike the normal one, it is like a brush dip. This one has a unique dip. I love this so much. It gives me a natural lashes and it extends my lashes, like it lengthens it. is complete I'm moving to brusher Ta -da! this is a pastel brusher from Opu they collaborate with Marymount it is their limited edition brusher the packaging itself is to die for and I swear this is the best packaging I have ever seen it is a drugstore brand it cost me 90 ringgit 89.90 cent look at the texture it's so sleek this is of matte material. This is some gold plastic kind of material. But it looks so elegant. Okay, opening up, you will see a mirror up here. Can you see the color? It's like a soft pink. Soft pink. And then this one is like peachy pink. And this one is like a dark pink. I love it so much. It is so therapeutic seeing this color tone on the palette. Yes. Let's swatch it on my hand. Ooh. It's so pigmented and the powder itself is kind of soft. Let's put this on my cheek. I'm gonna use this, the center one. Whoa! That is so pigmented. Emphasize this area to brighten it up. So I'm using the lighter shade. To add some layer onto it, so I'm using this. The darker shade. Wow, so pigmented. Look at it. My brush pick up a lot. Remember to tap it off because it could look like very heavy makeup. Wow! Look at it! So pretty! Mm. So Sakura what is isn't it? Yeah! I like it! So moving on to contouring, I'm using this 3D contouring kit from Opio also, a Korea brand. This is also highly recommended by YouTubers and a lot of bloggers. Look at the color. It comes with a mirror also. I haven't removed the sticker. It is kind of natural contour. Let me swatch it for you. Wow. The powder is so, so, so soft. Look at it, 
so natural so natural okay I started with controlling my tones get into the darkest color can you see the shade a little shading over here very very natural This one without contouring and this is with contouring Wow, the difference is so big My face is literally smaller over here compared to here This will be my favorite yeah, I'm going to add some shading on my nose area So I'm going to use the center one This one is lighter in color Next is the highlighter here. Okay, the highlighter is not that pigmented, so if you prefer a lighter shade like a natural gold, this is for you. Can you see the blue? The glow is so natural. I highly recommend this palette. It's not expensive at all. It's below 40 I'm getting. So wearable. You can put up for daily wear for your work makeup. Must buy. Okay, uh, to fix my face, I got this. Also from Maybelline, this, it is their matte powder, porcelain powder in 110. This powder would darken your highlighter, so if you prefer a matte look, it should be fine. It would be like, um, see, my glow has been covered by the powder. But I believe that it has oil control over the oil on my face so that it looks matte. Right, moving on to the last makeup of the video. This is the lipstick from Opium also. This is from their True series and I got both the color. I got one velvet which is their matte lipstick and also the melting which is of cream texture. I'm going to create a Radiant lips, radiant Korean lips using this lipstick. So, as firstly, I'm going to put up this melting CR02, which is a dusty rose kind of color. Oh, look at it! It has a sheen on it because it's creamy. I'm going to put it on I can say it is more too oily but if you don't like it you could just dab off a little using a tissue to like remove the sheen mm. the color is so natural and then I'm going to pair it with this, which is Velvet RD04. It's a brick red kind of color. With a matte texture. Put it on, I'm going to put it on the inner. This color is so sexy and usually I'm going to rub it. Let them mix together. 
I've been using this lipstick for like one week. I'm truly in love with that texture, with the formula because the texture is just very moisturizing. It moisturizes my lips uh, for like few hours, but since it is a lipstick, so it doesn't stay long on my lips. It will be removed upon I finish my meal and then I just wipe off with a tissue and then the color just the color just being wiped off. But I like the feeling of it. It doesn't feel like a lipstick at all. A silky thin layer on my lips and it is so comfortable. Recommend. So here's complete the look. Thank you for watching and I hope you like this kind of video. So do let me know what kind of video you would like to watch next in the comments down below. I will read all of them. Make sure to follow me on my social media platform which is Instagram and then Facebook. And I will see you in my next one. Bye! So peachy white. I hate that sound